8, what is going on? If you're using Bing ads, you are lose, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. I can almost guarantee you. I'm going to go over that in this video. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Um, I've done a lot of stuff with Facebook ads, so this is very similar. But I just never thought to do this with Bing ads. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to probably increase your sales and, and your money by 10 to 15 percent, maybe even 20 percent very easily. Stay tuned. All right, now that we got the little corny intro out the way, I'm Antonio Carter, Antonio X. Carter, uh, teaching people how to make money online, affiliate marketing, all types of all that other stuff, Shopify stores and, and good things. So one of the things that I've been playing around or started to play around with is remarketing lists with Bing ads. I've done a lot with Bing ads, okay? I've done landing pages, emails, I do a lot of direct linking. I show people how to make their first commissions when it comes to ClickBank products, promoting ClickBank products and, and being profitable, creating profitable campaigns. That's my jam. However, I have not really experimented with remarketing. And what remarketing does, it enables somebody to go to a page like this. Give me one second. This is my ClickBank account. So I ran some ads to this little ClickBank cash flow on demand challenge that I did a while ago. And I showed people for five days how to build their own profitable campaigns. I ran it inside of my Facebook group. It's going to open up again probably in February, somewhere around there. Uh, you can go ahead and sign up for it. It's a wait list. That way, whenever I open it, uh, you'll get an email instantly describing all the steps of when I open it and, and where you need to go to access it and stuff like that. And then I also have an offer. And those of you who have gone through this funnel, you already know, I'm a very transparent guy. So I have nothing to hide. After you sign up, not for joining the, the wait list, but rather when, it, when the doors open, have a thank you page. And once again, it gives you more of the steps uh, checking your email and joining a Facebook group where I do the live training. But I pitch an offer. An offer is to upgrade to VIP, which gives more exclusive time for me to give you one-on-one uh, -on -one time with me in order to build your campaign as opposed to asking me questions live in a Facebook group with you know 50 to 100 people watching. I can't really spend the time with each individual person to do it. This is $97 at the time of this recording. So after they click the button, and they're interested, um, they'll put in their money or they'll order their product here. It's $97 and boom, right? But what happens if you do not order? What happens if you come across the thank you page and you don't make the purchase or you click the button and you look at the checkout page and you don't purchase? I know that you're interested but you didn't pull the trigger for some reason. Well, this happens with all other pages. Even if I was just collecting emails, if you just came across my main page, I guess I closed it. If you come across my main page, yeah. If you come here, you clicked the button, but you didn't put in your email address, you didn't come to my thank you page. I need to be able to track that because later on I can send a specific ad within Bing ads, which is called retargeting, to retarget you back to the main page to sign up, right? I have to entice you now. It's like, hey, I saw that you clicked my link or I saw that you looked at this page, but you did not sign up. Here's the reason to sign up. I'm giving away free I don't know, donuts or something. And it brings you back over here so that you can get signed up. But you know that I'm tracking you, right? You you notice that, hey, this guy's real serious. His marketing is serious. I'm going to sign up for his stuff. That is remarketing. And we can do that with Shopify stores. I'm pretty sure you see it all over Facebook. You go to a website, 
just went to Amazon.com to look up, uh, I don't know, some type of cereal. Who buys cereal on Amazon? I know. But all of a sudden you go on Amazon or Facebook and you start seeing ads about cereal. That's retargeting. But we've gone back over to Bing. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a UET tag. The UET tag is something that is created as a pixel. So whenever somebody hits your website, this UET tag says, hey, we have a visitor. Let's grab this information and put it within our database so that uh, it could be used later for marketing, AKA a cookie, right? Um, in order to create a UET tag, you hit this create UET tag, it gives you a code and then you paste it in the header of your website. I'm not going to go over that because I already created a video on that. So uh, check somewhere on this video um, and, and you should see a picture of it. And you can click that picture or something um, and you'll, you'll be able to watch that video. It's pretty quick, it's short. After you've done that, you can see this one here called five day challenge. After you've done that, you are then going to come to audiences. And we are creating an audience of people who hit this page, but do not check out. And so I already did it here. Five day challenge. Thank you page, but no purchase. I just created this. Okay. This is things that I'm coming across. <laughs> I haven't been able to test it. I don't have no no data about it because I just got off the phone with a Bing as representative to help me with this. I have not tried this with Bing. And then you hit create audience. And you name your test remarketing audience. And it's going to ask you what type you're going to hit remarketing type or remarketing list, not dynamic, not custom combination. You want remarketing list. Then you're going to hit next. And remember that UET tag that we created earlier. This is where you do it. And I would select that one. Then it's going to say who to add your audience. And we're going to select a few things. So there's various different scenarios. Maybe you want to attract people who hit one page. This would be very attractive to somebody who has a blog and they just want they, they want to be able to track individuals who just hit their page, their blog page with their new blog posts. Or somebody such as myself where I'm saying, hey, visitor of a page who did not visit, visit another page. I want those who did not purchase my product. So it would be those who went to um, my cart page but did not hit my confirmation page. They didn't hit my confirmation page. That means they did not purchase. However, if I click this one, visitor of a page also visited another page. That means I'm collecting information and tracking those who did purchase. Maybe I want to upsell them to a higher product because they've already proven that they are a buyer. So they go to my checkout page and they've hit my uh, confirmation page. I know that they are a buyer, so maybe I want to collect all of my buyers. Then you're going to copy this code. I know we already created a UET tag, but you're going to copy this code and put it in the header of your website. Membership duration, you have the uh, ability to track this, this this individual for a particular amount of time. I think the max is like 180 days. What happens if you do It's not going to tell us. Let's see. Question mark. Okay. Question mark is okay. But I think it's 180 days. And the reason this varies is because certain products have different durations. So if I was selling a car, maybe I want to track the person for 30 to 60 days because everybody doesn't see a car today and then make the purchase tomorrow. It doesn't work out that way. You got to get pre-qualified. Um, you got to go drive the car and fill out paperwork. Some people, it just takes forever for them to figure out what type of car they want. It's not a one-day process or a same-day process at that matter. Um, 
And if it is a same day process for buying a car, that means they've done the research for quite some time. Now, for those who just simply want to sign up and get a freebie, maybe I want that to be 30 days or three days. Okay. Nobody's thinking about a freebie for 30 days after they see your ad <laughs> or land on your landing page. But if I'm doing at the cart, um, my challenge is a five day free challenge. I typically create my pages uh, to be about a month out. I may want that to be 30 days. Okay. And then that is my account. I'll probably blur that out. Hit save. It's giving me an error. Nope. After you hit save, it will go over to the other product. So I'm just going to do Google.com, Facebook. I knew I didn't put some information somewhere. Say, all right, cool. Now we need to go back over to our campaigns. I'm not going to create a new campaign in order to do this. I'm going to select one that's pre-existing. If you want to learn how to create a profitable campaign from A to Z and everything in it as a tutorial, I've created an hour long video for you so you can walk through it. I literally you, you watch me do it <laughs> from from A to Z, literally. So now you go to the campaign. In this particular campaign, I have one ad group. And so what I would do is I would go to audiences under that campaign. I would select remarketing lists. Actually, I wouldn't select remarketing lists. My apologies. Create association. And I have the ability Go in here, you hit add group, select an ad group, hit that, hit your ad group, and you're ready to go. All right. Let's see, ad targeting, you could do some more extra stuff. We got the remarketing lists. I'm gonna keep things simple. Uh what did we type? Was it test remarketing lists? I believe so. And Good to go. Now, this is where it could get a little confusing. You have these two options. These two options are bid only and target in bid. So you got to hang with me a little bit. Um, it took me a long time to really kind of understand the difference between the two. Um, target in bid is for the group that we just created. If you want to remarket to those individuals only. And so when we put our group, our target remarketing list that we just created within an ad group of a campaign, right? Each ad group has its own words and all that stuff. Um, the people seeing our ad will only be those on our lists, remarketing lists. The bid only option allows for people inside the list and everybody else who's searching for that term on the internet. So it gets a little confusing. The wording right under the radio buttons really doesn't help as much. Show ads to people searching for my ad with option to make bid adjustments for selected audience. Like what the heck does that mean? Okay. It I just gave you a breakdown. <laughs> and it can get a little confusing. So I just want to break that down and then you'll scroll under here and you can adjust that bid. Okay. You already have your ad spin of what you're bidding for each keyword. And this allows you to create the, an increase amount or percentage, um, for your group or I'm sorry, for your, uh, remarketing list. So if this was at 100% and your CPC or your bids for your keywords were at a, at a dollar each, you essentially will be paying $2 for each click when it comes 
to this remarketing list, which is very well worth it because you already know that they're interested. They hit your checkout page or whatever the case may be, uh, your landing page, their conversion, and you are marketing to somebody who is a hot buyer or somebody who is a converted lead already. So you're just simply putting your ad in front of them again, but you're letting them know, hey, I got something for free or you forgot this step. Go ahead and complete the checkout or the cart and, and complete your purchase. So I would pay much more all day for that type of individual. And this is essentially how people can double their revenue, triple their revenue, or even quadruple their revenue. Because instead of just having a customer who has landed on a page and just leaves, you now know those hot leads and you can market to those hot leads only. And you're just really racking up on the sales once you kind of um, narrow this down and, and really understand it and how it works. So that's pretty much it. That was the most confusing part about this whole thing. I tried to break it down as best as I could. And if you have any questions, drop me some comments down below under this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. I want more subscribers so that I can teach you guys how to generate income online, create a beautiful lifestyle, escape the nine to five. You can make money online. Anybody can make money online. Don't forget to check my links under my video. I have a whole bunch of free courses. I'll be launching my five day free challenge to help everybody create their first profitable being ads campaign with ClickBank. I'll be doing that pretty soon, but for right now, you can click the link in the description to join the wait list. If you want to learn how to make $3,500 using similar techniques like these, uh, I learned a lot of my methods from Yvonne Mana. I think that's how I pronounce his name. I provide his course in the description, $3,500 per week, guys. This man's killing it and he's revealing his secrets to you. So I advise you, go ahead, check that out. I highly recommend him. He's the real deal. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.